Hi, welcome back, Growing Dreams Homestead. I am Dana and I am here in the dining room and I'm gonna be starting some seeds. So I thought I would bring you along. Um, I did get a big bag of heirloom seeds that my mom and her boyfriend brought up for me to start. Um, they came from a friend of theirs who brought them up from Kentucky and they're probably 15 to 20 years old. Um, I don't know how well they're, they'll germinate, but we're going to try them out and I will show you how I got them. And um, there's also some beans and it looks like possibly some pumpkins, so I'll show you those too. Alright, so they brought a baggie with some seeds. So this one says basket and it looks like maybe some sort of squash or pumpkin. Um, I'm not sure. It's definitely not time to plant those out, but I'm going to keep a few just to see what they are. And then this one says big round. So um, they look similar, similar seeds. So then there are these beans that just says tick beans. Um, so I'm not sure what they are, um, but I'll plant a few and when it's time after Mother's Day. And then these are called little greasies and I guess these are ones that you string up and let them dry to make leather britches. Um, we've never tried that um, but my husband's dad said that his mom did that and he really liked them so we might try some of those. And then all the pumpkin or all the tomatoes are just in paper towels and they were saved years ago and they just say big purple, yellow and red, uh, sun sugar. So um, the ones I'm going to plant I have over here and um, the rest I'm going to put back in. We're not going to plant all of them so hopefully this works. All right I got my seed starting tray filled with potting soil and I got it pre-moistened. So the first heirloom I'm going to attempt to grow is called Old Yellow and Red. That's what it says on the paper towel. So, and there are a lot of seeds on here. I'm just, I'm going to plant pretty heavily because these are very old and I don't know how well they're going to germinate. I told my mom I would do my best. Um, she grows the garden, but she usually buys everything already started or get starts for me she doesn't have like the greenest thumb so she asked me to take on this little adventure of trying to get these old heirlooms um, to germinate so I'm gonna do my best so I'm just putting four or five in each cell and hopefully they will grow we have lots in this little paper towel. If they don't, we can try again. All right, the next one um, says um, big purple on it. Um, so we will try this one, big purple tomato. There's not as many seeds here, so. I'll do my best. It's kind of cool to be trusted to bring back some old heirlooms that somebody has saved all these years. I just hope I'm successful. And they said they only wanted a few of each, but I'm going to start a bunch and if I can get them to grow, then I'll grow them too. And then we can keep saving seeds and have um, some old heirloom varieties that were brought to Indiana from Kentucky years ago so that'll be cool all right all right the next one is called purple bell and it's not a bell pepper because i looked at the seeds they are tomato seeds so i don't know if they're bell shaped or i have no idea so it'll be fun to discover what these tomatoes are um, when they grow. They're pretty set through this paper towel. Oh no. Okay. 
I planted some tomatoes, I think, last weekend. I got my watermelon beef steaks in and I got some little cherry tomatoes. And those are already up and doing well. I have a couple peppers up from my pepper planting video from, I think that was like almost two weeks ago now. Um, I have a couple up, but not many. But peppers are notorious for taking a long time, so that's okay. All right, so there are some purple bell, and I will cover these lightly with some pine soil when I get them in my seed room. So the next one is called yellow and purple, which is intriguing to me. I wanna know what those are, yellow and purple tomatoes. I think those will look super cool. I hope these will grow. They've been in these paper towels in this baggie for years. Some of them say like 2006 on them. So it's pretty old. These are stuck real good too. Look how clean they are. Try to put a few in each cell and hopefully they will germinate because yellow and purple sounds super good. The next variety is Sun Sugars, which we know and love. They're little sweet orangish yellow cherry tomatoes. They're one of my favorites. And I don't see any Sun Sugars on here. Oh, there's a couple. I think there's more in that stack. I may have to dig through and find some, find them because I love Sun Sugars. <laughs> They look so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to find another paper towel or thinner. And then this one says pink. Hush, girls. Hush. Hush. All right, this one says pink. So I don't know what pink tomato is. I don't know if it's a big one, a small one. I don't know, we'll find out. It's kind of exciting to plant these seeds that I didn't save or my mom didn't save or you know just some heirloom seeds that this lady had and just to try them out and see what happens it's kind of a cool little experiment and you guys know I like experimenting so this is gonna be fun all right So pink. I'm really excited about the yellow and purple ones. I want to see what those are. Those two, I don't know if they're big or, or little. Um, by the size of their seeds, I would say they're bigger tomatoes. These one looks smaller, so these might be like cherries. We'll see. You can kind of tell sometimes by their seed size. All right. And then my mom also ordered some ox heart tomatoes because um, I guess they had one last year or had a few last year from somebody and they really liked them. So um, I'm going to plant those for them. Like I said, I, didn't, I guess my green thumb came from my grandma because my mom claims she doesn't have one and asked me to plant these. So plant her some ox hearts and these came from Ohio heirloom seeds so she said she didn't want a whole lot of them so we'll just do a few like two per cell or something Good. And they also have a orange Kentucky beef steak in here that she wants me to plant. So orange 
one second. I'm so excited for the gardening season. I've been outside all week when I was on spring break last week and got so much stuff done. And it was so nice to be out and seeing all the things that are coming back to life. Um, all my daffodils are blooming. Got tulips up. Um, my comfrey is coming back. My lavender, echinacea, uh, my mints, and my thyme. And I have so many herbs all over the place and flowers. And all my perennials are coming back. My lupins and my lilies and it's so exciting like I am so ready for green the trees are starting to bud um, the honeysuckle is definitely turning really green in the woods so the lower level of the woods is all green so that's exciting to see um, but yeah I'm so ready so I also got some uh, Roma and San Mazzaro for me, which I will plant. Um, I probably won't do that on camera because, you know, um, but these are sauce tomatoes and I will grow quite a bit of these for um, spaghetti sauce and um, I also do like ketchup and things like that. So I will get these in there, but this is part one of the heirloom seed starting experiment. Um, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated and thanks for hanging out with me while I planted some heirloom seeds from Kentucky. Have a good one. Bye.